Hey everyone, sorry about the uh, the technical issues. Um, we only have two people on, and I want to make sure that we get Kent on and a few others. Of course, this would happen tonight. Um, we'll start with uh, with Cody, and then we'll just keep uh, we'll keep it going. Cody, go ahead. What can you say that hasn't already been said about Sill and her rebounding and passing Rebecca on the all time list, but also coming passing some of the other staff and some of the other coach to four champions? Yeah, just really proud of Sill. Um, you know, just uh, the fact that I could you know be a witness to to so many rebounds and um, and, and how valuable uh, she has been to our our franchise and. Um, you know, and then to pass uh, Rebecca Brunson, just, just a special moment for the franchise that we've had the two of the greatest of all time. It's why it's why our franchise has been so successful. Um, so happy so uh, was able to you know, get that done tonight. And um, you know, she, she's leaving it all out there. Rebound, rebound tells the story typically and, um, that that defines who so is. Um, if you have a question, just please put it in the chat and I'll try to get to you. We'll start with Kent. Kent, go ahead. Uh, coach, uh, it was a three-point game in the third, and they scored, I think, 12 straight, and they were kind of on their way. What did you see happening there, and uh, what made it so difficult to come back on this team? Um, it was the uh, Seattle's three-point shooting. What made it hard to come back tonight? Yeah, Seattle's three-point shooting, um, you know, the pace that they were – Running their offense, and you know, we, we obviously we should we shoot. We didn't we didn't shoot very we didn't shoot very well, and we turned the ball over. So bad combination to, you know, get back and build your defense, and and so we just found ourselves in rotation so much. The the pace that they run their offense and driving and kicking and sharing the ball, uh, they're a big time challenge. And what what made it difficult for us to, you know, we were hanging around. You know, it felt a lot like the first game where we were hanging around, um, but um, Seattle just we just uh, I felt like we. You know, their ball pressure was really good. Um, you know, our execution was really poor, you know, because of it, continuing to make the same type of turnover. You know, our, our, our fours had, you know, too, too many turnovers, you know, trying to get the ball to sill in a high-low situation, deflections, uh, deflections like crazy. Um, so just bad combination. You know, we rebounded the ball really well. We got to the foul line. We had some hustle plays. We had good moments. We just execution offensively. You know, this is part of what we knew would be our challenge this year, uh, was figuring that out. Um, but but we were just we were beating ourselves with, with some of the play at that end. We'll go Katie and then Doug. Katie, go ahead. Um, first, any more word on Rima and Lexi? And do you feel those injuries and just the lacking depth that added to the loss tonight? Last part. Uh, do you feel like the lack of depth um, after those in and including after those injuries hurt tonight? Well, Lexi was so late in the game. I don't necessarily know that that had a factor. Um, you know, um, you know, wasn't great you know, with Rima going out, but I don't think that was necessarily, um, you know, didn't necessarily impact us. Um, I, I just, I, I don't know on, on um, you know, both of them. You know, this is obviously a really late hour. We just finished up and we're all trying to get out of here. We'll probably know more, more tomorrow. With each of them, you know, Lexi, Lexi knocked her head on the floor pretty good. Um, but um, I don't know that, that those two getting injured had a lot to do with what happened in the game. Doug, go ahead. Hey, Coach, is Seattle at a point right now, because they have so many pieces returning and it's early in the season, that teams have to play really well to, to beat them? Absolutely. Yeah, we kind of knew that. Um, you know, that's a game for us that uh, – you know, you, you try to get better in, you, you, know, you try to compete and hang around, but you better have decent offense when you play these guys because they're, they're a well, well machine. They run through their stuff. They run at a great pace. They share it. Um, and, you know, your offense better be good. But by the way, their defense is awfully committed. Uh, this is why they were, you know, champs a couple of years ago. And, uh, it's why their franchise, even without Stewie and without Sue Bird, 
um, you know, was in, was in the top six. Um, so it's a really good team, really good team. And, you know, I, I wish we had played better. Um, you know, just offensively, it's just tough, really, really tough for us. And, and uh, we, we got to get better there because now we're going to play a Chicago team who's really, really good offensively. We'll go Jason, then Abdul, and then we'll wrap it up and I'll get Sill. Well, just through two games, I know you weren't thrilled with the way the team played Sunday, but got the win. And then tonight, where do you feel like your team is at just at early in the season here? Uh, exactly what you saw tonight. It's rough. It's rough right now. Um, learning. Um, I, I think I said this at one point. We, we have to go through things together um, to, you know, kind of develop an identity. And, uh, you know, players that are doing things for the first time, whether it's Lexi as a starter, uh, Rachel taking on a bigger role, you know, rookies in there. Um, just, you know, we, we have to kind of go through some stuff. And there's going to be some good moments. There's going to be some tough moments. You know, you hope you can win some games along the way just to, just because you know what it feels like. And, and then obviously um, there are going to be games that, um, you know, the opponent's really, really good. And if we're not really, really good, um, it's just going to be tough for us to stay in the game. Abdul, go ahead. Last question for Cheryl. Hey, uh, I wanted to touch on again on the depth of Seattle. I know you mentioned that they just came at you with a, a few different uh, people. Uh, going on to Chicago as well, do you feel like that'll be another issue that you may have to deal with as far as depth and making sure that you have bodies coming fresh on? Our depth or, or yeah, I mean, it's, it's an issue for everybody. Um, you know, Seattle's a little bit unique and how good their depth is and, and um, you know players that started for a team last year are now playing reserve roles they're again they're 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 well well machine i i um, you know i think for us um you know there, there's uh, there's been there's a little bit of depth i don't think near as much as we probably need uh, in terms of getting quality play from our bench um, that we, we need to get better as two games i don't think our bench has been very good at all all right, thank you guys. I'm going to go get Sill. Um, hang tight with us. Thank you. You consider standing. You got it. Yeah. All right. We'll uh, we'll have a question. We'll start with Kent. Kent, go ahead. You know, it was a, a difficult night for it to happen with the loss. But can you just talk about breaking the record and being able to sit at uh, stand at half court with with Becca and get and have that moment? Um, such an unbelievable moment. Um, I'm very happy. Uh, with how this panned out, um, and I'm happy that um, I had a chance to um, honor BB for all the work that she put in. And um, sorry, BB, I had to break the title, but uh, that's just what it is. Uh, Cody, go ahead. Um, just talk about the relationship between you and Rebecca uh -huh. playing together with so many years. Mm -hmm. and I mean, I'm sure for her, there's no one else she'd rather have. Yes, she uh, stated that. And so um, me and BB go way back before I even got to the Minnesota Lynx. And um, just loving her game and her passion and the energy that she put in every game to go out there and just rebound. So you always try to pamper yourself behind somebody. And she's the great role model um, that I had to watch. And I also had the opportunity to play with. What does it mean to be? among the <laughs> actually the greatest to do something. Um, it still feels surreal at this moment, I guess, because we, we just lost. But um, I, I'm thinking that I have, I'll have time to soak it in tomorrow and um, appreciate all the work that I put in over the last 13 years. Um, we'll go uh, Jace, Katie, and then Doug. Jace, go ahead. The, what do you think has just been the key to all this over the years? So, like, such consistent, dominant, rebounding success. What has been, I don't know, number one reason as to why you think you're in this position 13 years into your career? 
Um, a lot of that is just credit to my older siblings, um, never giving me the opportunity to play on offense. So I credit myself on defense because that's the only thing that I could do um, growing up. And so it kind of just trickled over into my professional career. Katie, go ahead. Sorry, so first congratulations, but just switching gears now to the game. But just with um, Rima and Lexi's injury, we obviously don't know how severe they are yet, but what will you need from the rest of the roster, especially the bench going forward? I mean, just uh, making sure we, we hone in on the things that's important to us. And everybody's going to have to step up. It's not just going to be one or two people. It's got to be the whole team collectively. Doug, go ahead. Hey, Syl, congrats on the record. The, the Seattle team, you guys a couple of years ago, were people need to play their best to beat you when you guys were winning. Mm -hmm. Does mm -hmm. this Seattle team remind you of that at all? I know it's early in the season, but you have to have your A game to, have, to sort of beat them, it seems, so far. I mean, it's not too far off. I think Seattle got all the pieces. They got Stewie coming back, um, so they're not missing anything. So this was a great game for us to just pamper ourselves on how far we need to go and the things that we need to clean up. Um, unfortunately, it didn't work in our favor tonight, but we got a whole season to go, so you got to kind of have like short term memory and turn it around and get ready for the next game. Uh, Kent, go ahead with one more. Phil, is there a deeper team right now at WNBA than Seattle? Um, I think you, you, you're going to have some, some surprises, but as of right now, due to just their roster, they're pretty deep, uh, so I have to say no. Any other questions for Sil? Uh, Katie, go ahead. You said it has it, it's still surreal, but is it hard to um, celebrate this milestone with when it comes on a loss, or how will you do that? No, it's not hard to celebrate. I think I will celebrate once I get back to the room, but right now it's just a lot going on around us that I'm trying to make sure Kareem was okay, make sure Lexi's okay. I'm not too worried, too much worried about the loss. Um, that comes with playing games. You win and you lose, uh, but I will definitely celebrate. Thank you. All righty, thanks everyone. I'm gonna go grab Fee and that'll be our last player tonight. Thank you. Thanks, so. No problem. Yes, sir. And then we're gonna stop off here. Tom wearing t-shirts, that's great. Uh, Cody, go ahead. You're a player that does it all, but you know, in these last two years, what have you learned from Syl when it comes to rebounding? What's it mean to see her become the all-time rebounder? It's amazing, and it's not surprising at all. Syl plays so hard every single game. She goes after every rebound, and um, I'm so happy and proud of her and for her, so it was so, I mean, it was great, I felt. I'm really proud of her. Does anyone have any questions for Fee? Kent, do you got one? Really yeah, uh, Fee, you talk about the relentless, the, the, the way that Seattle, with their, with their roster and their depth, can just can put pressure on you guys. Did they grind you down a little bit tonight? They are a very talented team, and they're really smart in the way that they played. But I think, um, a big part tonight is we kind of beat ourselves. We had a lot of turnovers and not doing the things that we're good at and the things that we need to get into. So they are a very good team, and that's not to take away from that, but I think that there's a lot of things that we could have done better. Any other questions for Fee? Katie, go ahead. 
Hey, Fee. Um, it seemed like execution was just a main problem tonight. Um, how do you, is that more of like guards being aggressive from the get-go when you're starting an offensive set? Or what do you think the main um, solve is for lacking execution? It's, I mean, it's everyone. No one, I mean, yeah, no one really played like their best game. And especially on, as a team, we didn't do our best thing. Uh, yeah, it's the guards being aggressive. It's the post players. Dee Dee and I both had way too many turnovers. We had too many turnovers as a team. Uh, just all around, we didn't do the things that we wanted to do. Um, we didn't keep them under the percentage we wanted to, just all around. Last call for Fee. All right, thank you, everyone. Thanks for being nimble with us. Uh, Jace, you got one? Uh, yeah, Jace, but if she's gone, that's fine. <laughs> so you want to want to finish your, your bite? <laughs> also thanks everyone for being nimble with us tonight uh zoom failed us so kent you and i are in the same boat buddy <laughs> hey, just two games in um you know obviously the win sunday then then the tough one tonight but how, where do you feel about like how do you feel about where this team is at right now early in the year uh i feel you know we had some really good moments tonight and in the connecticut game obviously coming up from being behind, but I think tonight kind of showed us some things we have to work on, which, um, you know, we had a two week training camp, just like everyone else though. So we do definitely have things that we want to work on, but like I said, there were a lot of bright spots too. So um, obviously trying to chip away those things that we don't like and then emphasize the things that we are good at. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks for staying up late. Have a great rest of your night. <laughs>